Kevin T again here. Um, today we're just going to go through the fitting of a drawer down here to a TDN car. Many people have been asking us about how this is done. Um, now, first things first, the drawer is limited to the small cart only. Reason being, on the larger carts you have these holes either end, these ones here, you have them at this end as well. And this is where the drawer needs to go. Effectively, you could put a drawer on there, but you would lose the use of those, uh, those holes at the end. Some people have said, can we mount the car, the drawer sideways and have it in? It won't go. Anything bought from around midway through um, 2018, you have a look underneath your, your car. If it has four holes drilled in the base, this means you can literally get the car, the, the new drawer, and just bolt it straight in. All the captive nuts are in there already. If you haven't got this type of, uh, of cart, it means you've got the older one, which my one is here, so I'm gonna demonstrate how we fit the cart to this one. You will need to remove the uh, foam insert. Unfortunately, if you have my luck, that's what my foam looked like when I took it out. So there is a replacement available. If you're very, very careful, um, there is a possibility you may get these out intact. The chances are they are going to tear, unfortunately. So it's always worth having a little look before you go ahead and buy a, buy a drawer. Attached to the drawer itself will be this little bag here. And it's got four T nuts in it, four washers, and four three mil Allen headed bolts. You need a three mil um, Allen key, a pen to mark out the holes, a drill. This is a 6.5 mil uh, drill bit, which is exactly the same size as the, the center of this T-nut. There's a little indent on this extrusion here. You want to line the front of the draw carrier level with this indentation. Both sides. Okay, that means you're going to have enough room for everything to clear. Now, the gap either side from the runner to the edge of this black extrusion is uh, an inch and an eighth. So that's an inch and an eighth, both sides. Just make sure it's fairly square. The holes that have been drilled on the runners themselves are larger than the, the thread of the bolt. So if you don't get these exactly right, there is a little bit of movement in there. So there's a bit of adjustability, okay? So when you drill the hole, just try and drill the hole to as, as close to center as you possibly can. And that will give you your maximum room for movement. Now don't forget for this point, you are going to need to have make sure you've removed the uh, the foam from in, on the top of the car. So now we've drilled the holes from underneath. What I've done is I've flipped the cart over, and now we're just going to fix these little T nuts in. Done through already. Don't worry if I don't go all the way through because when you do the Allen bolt up, you will actually draw everything into the wood. Pop it in there and then just tap it home. Now we've got the the T nuts. Uh, inserted properly now it's time to fix the uh, the drawer up so we use our 3.5 mil that's uh, right a three mil and bolt to the hole we drilled now the reason it was important that uh up here that we make sure the drawer runner lines up with that first line on the um, is to make sure we can still use the slide hammer um hole because if we move that any further back it will cover this hole Okay, so what I mentioned about these earlier, we haven't got to hit them all the way in, because when we tighten these up, you'll see they'll draw themselves into the wood, they'll actually bite in. You can see now, the way we've got this set up, this draw knob actually fits perfectly in line with the top of the, uh, the cart, so when it drops in, it's gonna hold, this panel here is gonna hold this drawer shut. That's the reason, so obviously we need to make sure we line it up properly at the front to make sure it's gonna line up nicely here and it's gonna, the drawers can be held in. And we also still can use our slide hammer. So that's all functioning very nicely now. Now, all we have to do is mount our new foam in the top. Now you can put some extra spray adhesive on these. This stuff, to be fair, stays very, very tacky uh, for a while. So if yours is tacky enough, just leave it. So that's everything installed. New foam on the top. And now the cart's fitted. Loads of lovely. No problem. Now, with the cart, uh, with the drawer, sorry, the, as you see, the front face here is silver down the sides, but this front face has been made black to match 
the car I've got. Um, we can match any of the powder coated colours, so the green, the orange, the black, silver, blue. Um, we can do the, uh, the car floors in those in those colours there, and the red. Um, the anodised colours, the earlier colours, unfortunately, we won't be able to anodise this front edge. But the reason we've coloured it is when the drawer's shut, if you have any valuables in there, obviously it's, it's not that obvious that there's a drawer underneath. So with the with the foams as well, um, switch it up, make personalise your car. Um, you can have the foam in blue, orange, black, grey or yellow. So they may come split down the middle, anyone ordering from the States what we'll do. We'll put a saw line down the middle here, collapse it up just to make uh, shipping a bit cheaper. Um, if anyone picking up in store, will come as a one piece. Again, any questions, just, uh, just ask them. Please visit www.tdntools.com or why not subscribe to our YouTube channel to see many more reviews like this of latest tools.